Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Rune Factor 2, a fantasy harvest moon. In the last episode, uh, well, we did a lot of cooking. I guess that's the best way to put it. We cooked, we cooked, we cooked, we cooked, we cooked. In this episode, I said I would go out and get some stuff, and I got more than what I was supposed to get. Yeah, um, some things happened, and I kind of went on an entire tirade of getting stuff, and, uh, yeah, I got some stuff. <laughs> All right, let's start off the day soon. <laughs> uh, let's start off the day with uh, Emery Flower, a completely golden flower, very hard to grow, making a rare and special sight, worth 15,400 G. I'll show where to get this in a while. I'm gonna be covering everything. I have so many things to do, both today, tomorrow, and the next day. So, I'm not sure what order to do what in. Emery flower for now. We also have cherry glass, plants with pink flowers. Seeing them is like seeing a bard sing brilliantly of the wonders of spring. I believe this is also one of the uh, uh, shadow crops. We have the blue crystal, a flower cre- uh, I'll get to these in a minute. Yeah, we'll get to back to those in a minute. For now, let's just do these two flowers. The emery and the cherry grass. Okay, after those two, my crop records are up to 49% now. There are actually a bunch of things in here that I haven't shipped yet that I have had access to, so I guess I'm going to look into what I haven't done yet. I want to get everything done. While well, I'm thinking about it, Silver Wolf. So we have multiple quests we can do. Um... I'm not sure which ones we haven't done from the previous. I actually need to check that out. But we have both access to the Ghost in Machina Valley and the Silver Wolf in Padova. We'll be making progress with Padova for now. I'll go back and I'll do all the other quests that I haven't done yet for each different area. But it's not necessary at the moment. For now, Padova it is. And now for about as far as you can get from Padova... We're in, we're in uh, Blessia, so I am actually going to grab one of these, and let's also grab one of these, since we're here anyway. Also, I don't know if I've shipped one of these, so these as well. Okay, now in order, Blue Crystal, a flower created by Rune Crystals Underground. Each season produces a different color, blue in spring. The Green Crystal, a flower created by runes, Rune Crystals Underground. Each season produces a different color green in summer, red in fall, and white in winter. So for some reason green is actually worth less than blue, but otherwise it follows the trend of going up in price. So I don't know why. Fire flower, a uniquely shaped flower, often called the fireworks of the wild. Pay attention and you might hear them pop. Okay, 57% now. Not bad. I have shipped pineapple. I've apparently shipped over 100,000 worth of pineapple. Spiking on the outside, sweet on the inside. Just smelling it is enough to invoke the feeling of summer. I just don't remember shipping it, but it was a while back, so, you know. Okay, let's check out a few other things. I have not shipped a pink cat. Good to know. Because of that, we're going to ship a level 1 pink cat. A bright pink flower, its small cute petals have earned its, it in its endearing name. Alright, shipped. Butter. Alright, 55%. Ah, uh, failure. Butter. Uh, attempt tray. Cake made. Skill level increased. Not bad, not bad. Here at the fry pan, we're gonna take one onion, one green pepper, carrot, an oil, and a cabbage all together to make 
the level 20 recipe, fried veggies. Once again at the fry pan, we're gonna take a flour, oil, onion, and cabbage all together to make. The level 25 recipe, gyoza? How, wait, did I not already do that? I'm second guessing myself, I might have already done this one. I absolutely already did gyoza, I didn't mark it down. Oops, that's well, fine, I'll get more cabbage. I did a couple more days. Okay. Four of Clover, a lucky, lucky item. Just carrying makes you happy, and, and giving as a gift makes you doubly so. Lamp grass, the petals of this flower are filled with sparkling powder that is said to be able to cure insomnia. Fried veggies, various vegetables mixed and fried together, easier to eat than when they are raw. Cake, your basic standard issue cake. It's white cream and red strawberries never fails to captivate. Gyoza, I read this before, and I made it again. And we'll also be selling this magic powder. Powder containing magic, highly soluble in water, has a variety of uses. I don't think I have anything else here that I need to sell, but, you know, maybe later. There we go. Oh, and, yeah, energy and whatnot. Honey! Nice. Ooh, honey, honey. Love me more, love me more. We're actually going to be doing something slightly different today. So starting off the day, we're actually going to be showing off the Inquisitive Waltz for all four of the dungeons. I have access to every area in all the dungeons except for the boss room, I think, of Padova. So I don't know if there is one there, but if there is, we'll show it later. Other than that, let's do this. Okay. Stone Spike. Okay. 84. Costs about 3 RP. Good to know. La, 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 la. Okay, now, Stone Spike can hit two different targets at once. Neat. La, 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 la. There we go, good as new. Thank you, teacher. Don't mention it. Oh, are you? That, that book is already completely repaired. What do you want me to do, write a new chapter? Well, it was worth a try. Alright, alright. As per usual, turns blue. And deletes the spawner. That's it, it's pretty good. Nice. I'm not sure how many times I used it. Future Gabe would tell the cost based on how many times I just cast that. If it was four times, it's still only three per cast. So that's neat. Neato! Okay, so I am back from gathering up the footage for all the different spots that I could access at this point. To my knowledge. Um, there were some issues where it lists one that I cannot find for the life of me, so Future Gabe will have handled that one way or another. Uh, in addition to that, I'm not sure whether that's this video or going to be the next. Or the previous. Confusing. Um... I'm recording this now, and I may make a separate video for all the Inquisitive Waltz things. And if that's the case, then you may not get it even now. You may get it like a week from now. I don't know. I'm doing things at my own pace. So, back to what I was doing. If it's real, are ya? Now we'll move on to Padova Mountains. There's some nasty characters up there. We'll start with Ten Silver Wolf. Just so we're clear on this, the Padova Mountains are full of very dangerous enemies. Very few people ever come back alive. I believe in you, Arya. Go show those enemies the fruits of all your trials. I mean, heck yeah. So I'm a believer in trying to get everything right and trying to use the right tool for the right job. And what better to defeat Silver Wolves with than Sylvie themselves? Let's go. Okay, now here at the crossroad, this is one of the easier ones to do. There will be one here. Defeat of the target monster. Keep defeating them until you reach your quota. Deal with that one. Respawn the monster spawner. I'm here for moral support and also actual support. <laughs> None of that. That's five. Done. You've defeated your quota of the target monster. 
It's good seeing you, Sylvie. Welcome back, you did it. To think you could defeat monsters from the Padova Mountains, unbelievable. You're incredible, Arya, almost too incredible. You got 4,500G. A truly gift to fight, it deserves a truly handsome reward. <laughs> yeah, that's 450 gold per silver wolf. That's really not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. Orc Viking. Time for training. Come see me, Kay. If another trial, Aya, I'm not sure you need it, to be honest. But training is training in any case. I want you to defeat ten Orc Vikings. Even if I don't know much about them, I know you don't want you let your guard down around them, that's for sure. But I'm sure you'll be fine, Aya. But you just said you don't know much about them. You'll find Orc Vikings in the Padova Mountains. Watch yourself out there, okay? Fair. Glad she's at least being real with us. Speaking of Orc Vikings, I believe it's these. Yep, I'm correct. Defeated five of the target monster. You've defeated your quota of the target monster. You did it, great job. I think you might even be a better fighter than your father. Here's your reward, you certainly deserve it. You got 45 energy. Keep at it, Arya. Nice. Necro. Time for something a bit more difficult today. Defeat 10 Necro. Not a very nice monster, this one. Why? Oh, well, no particular reason, really. Don't fear... Don't feel the need to stop at 10, by the by. Take out as many as you want. So, that would imply that Tanya has a fear of the undead? Interesting. Or maybe just a fear of ghosts. That's probably it. I think she made some kind of comment about the rumor outside the clinic or whatever. I don't remember it, though. Okay, here at the Flowing River. I believe these are Necro. Yep, I'm correct. Level up, nice. I actually leveled up between episodes too. I'm up to 44 at this point. Nice. Double kill. So this should be the last one. Yep, correct. That was the last one. Defeated them all, did ya? Those things aren't fit to walk or um, float the earth. Get rid of every last one of them. Tanya, you are afraid of ghosts, aren't you? Heck, those are some sharp instincts you got there, kid. What place do ghosts have in our world anyway, am I right? Well, truth be told, I suppose they're not of our world, but that's why they're ghosts, a bunch of pests. Uh... Oh, that's right. Here, here, here's your reward. 5,000 G for those. There's still plenty of work to be done, Arya. I'm counting on you to get rid of those monsters. Alright, in on to the next one. The Skyfish. Ready for another trial? Here's what I'd like you to do today. Defeat 10 Skyfish. As you can imagine, it's a fish type monster. You're best getting up close with this one. It'll be chilly at the Padova Mountains, so make sure you don't catch a cold. Alright. Skyfish, we're fairly accustomed to at this point. So like I was saying, we're accustomed to it. I'm just not sure if both of these are Skyfish or not. So that one is not, but this one is then. Okay, defeated the target monster. Defeated five, seven, eight, nine, ten. You defeated your target, quarter for the target monster. Let's do it. Head home. Ok, 
Good job, you did it. How'd everything go? Probably a piece of cake for you. Here's your reward. You got 4,500 G. Great work today. That's what I like to see. Heck yeah. Hyork Viking. Good to see you here again. Let's get started then. Today, I want you to defeat 10 High Orc Vikings. Its body is covered in golden armor. Its attacks are nothing to shake a stick at either. So stay on your toes. I'll be here waiting. So over here at the icy path will be the High Orc Vikings during the day specifically. There we go. Defeated the target monster. That's two. Three. Four. Five. Nice. Six. Seven. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Done. Feed your quota. Yeah, I don't need this. I just want to check it. To home. You did a nice job. If you ever find yourself in a bit of trouble, you can use an accessory to raise your defense, especially one bought at my store. Anyway, here's your reward. You got 5,500 G. You don't seem afraid of anything anymore. Just make sure you keep toughening that body up. What do you even have for sale? Have I checked in a while? You have the platinum sword. That's neat. Gold brace. Uh, yeah, I mean, eh. Nothing too special, but that's fine. All right, the tundra. This one will probably be a bit more annoying. Time for today's trial. This time defeat 10 tundras. This one's extremely powerful. You'll need to mix up your attacks with wool time dodges to come out on top. Also, it's incredibly fast and attacks with a special kind of magic. Perhaps a spear would be best against it. Good luck out there. Now here at the shrine, These are the Tundras. We've fought them before, but this is where we're doing it. There we go. That's one. That one was easy. Level up. Nice. There we go. Another one. That's five. Another one bites the dust. Annoying. There we go. There we go. Another one, and I got a match of crystal. Not that one stupid game. Feared quota, nice. Medication and teleport home. That one took us a bit longer, taking an hour and a half. Welcome back. Find things a little difficult this time. You need to go through these trials if you want to become a master fighter, though. Well, here's your reward 5500G. No matter how many monsters we defeat, they just keep coming back, don't they? Surely there must be something we can do. No. All right, let's take a bath. Bath time. Here's the bath that's filled with wrath. Makes me wish I knew how to do math. All right, and another one. You might be asking, why so many? It's because we can do them. So stop asking questions. I saw these, realized that I th believe we can do them all without, like, you know, a nighttime one interrupting or whatever. And as such, I felt challenged to do them all. So here we are. Up for more again, huh? Glad to see it. Today I want you to defeat ten fairies. It attacks whoever intrudes upon its realm. It might be worth trying to ally yourself with one. Anyway, just be careful out there, okay? I believe fairies actually, you know, a heal spell. If not in this one, then future ones. I'll... I'll Look into that to try to figure. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'll, I'll try to figure that out. 
thing is that like they're all on the east side, so they're so freaking far away. All right, here at the tomb is where we're gonna be finding the fairies. I'm not trying to befriend you. Goodbye. Defeated the target monster. Another one. And I actually need fairy dust, so perfect. One nice thing is that because the spawner is all the way in the top right and they teleport, you can find them anywhere. You don't have to worry about your monster breaking it. Another one. And we're done. You have to feed your core to the target monster. Looks like you did it. Good work, Arya. Well, here's your reward. You got 5,000 G. Pretty soon you'll be done with all the trials I have for you. You've already, you're already a master fighter. No need for words, really. You really are amazing, Arya. Yay! Alright, now time for the little wizard. I believe that's the same little wizard we were kicking the crap out of during the Tunter quest, so... Isn't that ironic? I hero when I see. Back for more, huh? Today I want you to defeat ten little wizards. Watch out for its powerful magic. It shouldn't be too much for you trouble for you, though. Good luck out there. Alright. We're so close to being done with all the trials! Or at least most of them. Okay, these guys should be it. Yep, defeated the target monster. And with this one, it's easier because we just kill that one and then respawn it all. Oh. No, no, still not right. Alright, magic crystal again. Come on. Defeated five. No, I'm still not trying to do that. Ah. You defeated your core to the target monster. We're done. Oh. Uh, magic skill up, I heal myself. Nice, nice. Oh, and I'm about to be level 46. One, four. You did it? Great job. Go on, take your reward. You got 5,500G. I'm looking forward to seeing how far you progress, Arya. Heck yeah. Dark Slime. Ah, uh, here for another trial. You ready for today's challenge? It's a doozy. Go defeat ten Dark Slimes. They say it's immortal. I wonder why. It must have some amazing abilities. At any rate, at any rate, just remember to stay focused. Yeah, so the Dark Slime, the reason they say it's immortal is because it heals itself every time it hits you. Annoying! Alright. Dark Slimes. Defeated the target monster. So, the best defense is a good defense here. Or rather, the best offense is. Because, well, oh, hey, level up. While, yes, it's nice to be able to do good damage, it won't mean anything if you're, you know, healing them back every time you get hit. Defeated five. I chose not to bring Kane so this this uh, spawner won't get destroyed. There we go. You've defeated your quota of the target monster.
Fantastic job, you did it! Well, here's your reward. 6,000 G for honestly very easy battle. Those things with my current stuff is nothing. And they're actually closer and faster than most of the enemies. So, yeah, I appreciate it. You're quite the fighter now. I suppose a warrior might be more appropriate. Appropriate. I'm so proud of you. Yep, we did it. Uh, about that, though. Yeah. Um, this is the final chapter you're training. Wow, it's hard to believe how quickly this day came. The Dark Slime was the last of the regular ones. This is similar to the others. So we're going to take on Tundra 2 as the final one today. The tenth quest we've done in a single episode. Yeah. This, it's been busy, but we're doing it. This is it, the final trial. You've done well to make it this far. You're a master fighter, no doubt about that. There's probably nothing you couldn't do if you were so inclined. Oh, thank you, Tanya. Now, now, the trial isn't finished yet. This is no time to be getting sentimental. For your last task, I want you to defeat 30 Tundras. It's an ice monster, so a fire weapon would be good against it. This is the last challenge. Don't get careless. I know you can do it. Yep, 30. Not on the same screen or anything, so you can just go day after day and take care of it at your own pace or whatever. But it's three times the previous time. Yeah. This is gonna be fun. Nah. Half the annoying part of this quest is just getting here. The other half is, you know, fighting this annoying enemy. But it's just so far. What? Come on, I never got hit or anything. Defeated five. Oh, nice. Don't destroy the spawner! Defeated 15 of the target monster. Hey, if this keeps him from uh, breaking the thing, why not? No, I'm not targeting the one up there. Okay, that's all I got for him right now. Let's go grab some energy. Back again. And we leveled up again. Oh, hey, it's walking again. Twenty five of the target monster. One more. There we go. You've defeated your quota, all 30 in one night. Let's see if she's still open or not. I have a feeling like she won't be, but I might as well check. She's still open. That means she's probably at the bathhouse. No. Up in bed? Here you are. We did it. 
Congratulations, you did it. Well, here's your reward. You earned it. Outstanding work, Arya. You've got 12,000 G. You've completed all the trials. There's nothing left for me to teach you. It's kind of sad, really. Tanya, thank you for doing it. Thank you for everything you've done for me. You were the one who did everything, Arya. I merely pointed you in the right direction. I had the easy job. <laughs> That's not true. I couldn't have done any of this without you. I'll always be grateful for the opportunity to study under a master fighter like you. Huh? What did you just say? I said I'll always be grateful for the opportunity to under study under a master fighter like you. Um, master fighter? <laughs> Oh, this is priceless. I don't really know how to say this, but you have me all wrong. I'm hopeless when it comes to fighting. I'm not totally useless. I'd buy a struggle to take down the likes of even a rock. <laughs> what? But you know so much about monsters. Oh, that? I'm just repeating what I heard from other people. Adventurers from all over the world come to me for weapons. I pick up juicy tips from them all the time. I'm just a weapons dealer, though my love and knowledge of them admittedly knows no bounds. It's me who should be thanking you for increasing my sales. <laughs> Um, I'm glad I could be of service. I can't believe I fell for that. Hilarious. Absolutely Good hilarious. Good evening. You better get home. It's late. Do you enjoy school? Roy's always think of ways to get out of it. Hey, hands off the collection. Even Roy doesn't get to touch it. Then my pride and joy. Yep. So we finished her quest line. Tanya is at 6 with us currently. This doesn't really matter, I just wanted to show where she is at this point. There are other quests for her, like the ones to finish off, uh, Blessia and Machina. I don't know if there are any other relating to Padova. But, we're done. This is a weird feeling. It, it's good, but it's, it's odd. Well, or at least we are mostly done. Once again, this game keeps on giving. Okay, so I've been deciding how I want to handle this. I, as a clear thing for the audience, this is actually a new recording. I, it has been a few days. I finished editing the rest of the episode up until this point, decided how I was handling all of that. So I know that, you know, over an hour of footage has been just for a different video. So we're down to half an hour, roughly, and I'm not really okay with that. Let's go a little bit longer. I have one more thing to do in Padova, so let's take care of it. Now, I could be more prepared for this. I could try to make a better sword. I could try to make a better shield. I could do a better accessory than the Hachimaki. I, I don't need it. At this point, we're level 47. I'd probably say that you recommend a level would be around level 40 or so. If you haven't figured it out yet, we're taking on the boss of Padova. Padova Mountain's Ice Field. We haven't entered here in a while. That thing's huge! Hey, Future Gabe here, and I'm going to preface this by saying that I've realized that stats don't actually work linearly. Let's say you have 100 attack and the enemy has 50 defense, well you aren't going to do 50 damage. But it doesn't work as a percentage either, as if your attack is below a certain threshold, then you simply do 1 damage per hit. It seems to be an exponential damage where if you deal less than a certain amount, you deal reduced damage. But if you deal above a certain amount, you deal a fairly static, or at least as static as it can be, with the high ranges of damage you can deal, with occasional outliers being plus or minus 20 from the range. <sighs> this has been one of the many reasons I've had a hard time coming back to this project, as it's a bummer to find out the lack of documentation, combined with my own lack of programming knowledge, leads me with no real way of finding out exactly how it all works. If anyone sees this, knows how to extract such data, and is either really bored and wants to figure it out, or would send me some resources on how to learn, I'd gladly take it. In the meantime, take my estimates as I go in and give you my best guess on stats. Crystal Mammoth, HP 2510, Defense 30, as supposed to be against to fire, and resistance to water. Although I never saw a large difference due to how high his magic defense and how low my magic attack was. He has 5 attacks, starting with his dash attack. It hits for around 70 damage, and should he hit you early in the dash, it will hit you multiple times until either the dash finishes or you're knocked clear of it. 
Next up is the swing attack, where he raises his head and swings his tusk as an attack that deals around 110 damage. His final move in his normal stage is where his crystals begin glowing yellow and launches a giant ice explosion around him, dealing around 150 damage per hit and hitting multiple times. This attack lasts quite some time and hits quite often, so if you're close to the center, it's an easy wipe, even at higher levels. When you deal around 3 quarters his health, he'll go into Berserk State and gain 2 more attacks. The first is Smash Attack, where he'll stand up and smash the ground, dealing 110 damage and stunning you, leaving you open up to follow-up attacks. Lastly, he has a Suck Attack, where he breathes in air and sucks you towards him. This attack doesn't do any damage on its own, but will bring you in range of his other attacks and can lead to a quick KO if you're cocky. After having fought this enemy myself, I believe you could take him on fairly safely at level 40, though with the right equipment, you may even be able to do it at a much lower level. His attack patterns are fairly simple, so once you learn them, it's a game of attrition and skillful dodging. I have faith in you, you've got this. Got it. Alright, so it makes noises depending on what it's doing. Green beans go, I guess. <laughs> That's all I think of when I hear that noise. There we go. As you can tell, it's not weak. Alright. Dodge, of course, it's normal attacks. Alright, now I believe because the schooling is about to explode. Yes, yes it is. Okay, I was barely outside the range of that. Uh, did not hit it, apparently. Let's see how it deals with Earth. It's knocked down. Ooh, that hurts. So I'm sure its weakness is probably fire, but I don't use my fireball spell, it's not upgraded. Also, for future Gabe's sake, these are my stats. So you get a couple hits in, then you run for your life. I know it's about to thing, so do your dash. Oh, it's about to explode. It doesn't appear I can hit it when it's exploding like that. Enraged. Here we go. It's very purple and very splody. Let's see how the splody goes. Oh, it's always like that now. Three dashes in a row, I'm assuming, and then an explosion? Oh, a suction, then an explosion. That's... Oh. Hmm. Oh, no. So it sucks you in. Does that. I have not done this battle in a very long time. Also, to get some use out of the stew while we have it. Om -nom -nom. Oh, 
as you can tell, we're actually fine with this. And we're done. Obtain the Ice Stone Tablet Fragment. Woo, somehow I beat it! I've collected a lot of the stone tablet pieces. I get the feeling the stone tablet has some kind of important meaning. I have to hurry and show it to my teacher, Barrett. Alright. We have all five of the green. All seven of the blue. All five of the red. But we only have three of the ice. Hmm. Interesting. Let's go deal with that. It's disappearing! Obtain the ice stone tablet fragment. Well then, let's keep moving. They're going. Also, while I'm here. I missed. Now over here at the shrine. Aria, I give you this in recognition of your strength. The condensed power of the earth. A recipe for levelizer. Wow, I learned a new recipe. Obtain the ice stone tablet fragment. All right, now to move on. And another shrine entrance. I examined it, but there's no response. Let's escape. That is every single one. We have five of the ice, five of the red, five for the blue, five for the green. Mind you, as you can tell, there's still other stuff we don't have. But we're done with the dungeons at this point. Tomorrow, we'll see what that does. I just realized it was my birthday today. And I missed it. I missed my own birthday. At some point, I'll cover these days that I'm being dumb and missing, that I'm getting too preoccupied with whatever else. But that's not going to be right now, obviously. Alright guys, next time on Let's Play Rune Factory 2, A Fantasy Harvest Moon, by getting all of the tablet fragments, not just for being the bosses, but getting all the fragments, we've unlocked something very special, which we'll figure out what it is. I'll see you all next time, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.